it's time to take another Northern Ontario road trip. And it's really big. Wow. Holy doodle. And completed. Whew. Completed now. <laughs> We're done. Last year, we did an episode of a virtual cache, which we think is one of the best ever made in the world. We went to the King's Highway 17 virtual cache. That virtual asks you to complete 20 of the 25 locations in order to qualify for the cache. During that trip, we did stop at 20 of the 25 and were able to complete the virtual with our log. But but we wanted to complete the other five, so now we're at number 21. Yeah, it's not a requirement that we do this, but we just wanted to get the other five just to add to what we've already done. And so we could say we've been to all 25 locations. So where are we now? Right now we're at the Terry Fox Memorial near Thunder Bay. In 1980, Terry Fox began his Marathon of Hope. With little fanfare in St. John's, Newfoundland, his goal was to raise $24 million, $1 for each Canadian at the time. By the time his run came to an end, his determination had united the nation. All I can say is, uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. He was the youngest person to receive the Order of Canada. The cancer returned, and Terry was forced to stop running in the community of Shinua just east of this monument. Today, the annual Terry Fox Run is the world's largest one-day fundraiser for cancer research with over $500 million raised to date. It's amazing what one man with one leg has been able to achieve. While we're here at the monument, we're in the search of a traditional cache. And we have to find this one because Dougie B just found it yesterday. So far, we haven't had any luck. We're not going to give up though. That's not a regular. Yeah. It's a key lock. This is called a travel book. Tribute travel book. No. What are these? Mm -hmm. The smoker's paraphernalia. Oh no. That's weed. It is weed. It's a stash. It's oh, not a, that's not a cash. <laughs> it's not a cash. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, when the go. stash is a stash. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we didn't find the cash. We found somebody's stash. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> After that stash, we've uh, continued the search for the the correct stash, and uh, it's on the other side of the fence. We just had to figure out how to get there. So let's see if we can find this one. to an event in Thunder Bay at Kakabaka Falls. And look who is with us, none other than our guest for Cash Tour on Cash Canada Chats, Dougie B. Good day, how you doing everyone? Woo! And you're the host of the event. I am the host of this event. And we have a whole wonderful crew of visitors with us. How y'all doing? Great, we're good. great. Awesome. Great. Good. All right, so everybody get out there and Cash, Cash Canada! Canada. And while we're at Kakabaka Falls, we're doing a couple of earth caches 
and we're finding a traditional. And this is part of a series called the HHS, which is a historical series that was created by Ontario Parks, or Parks Canada. And if you got enough points from finding different caches, you could get a geocoin. So we're working on that. We have some already, so we're hoping on this trip we'll have enough to get a coin. Got it. We're at our second stop in completing our Highway 17 virtual. And here we are at the time zone between Eastern and Central time. Did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming from Scotland, who's an immigrant to Canada, was... <laughs> you proposed. Okay, did you know? Did you know that Sir... What's his name now? Sanford Fleming. Did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming proposed was the first Did you know that did you know that did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming, an immigrant from Scotland, was proposed proposed the daylight savings time? Did you know a, did you know that Sir San <laughs> Stop! I can't help it! I tried to I tried to hold it straight. I'm gonna pee myself. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming? Uh, I can't remember the rest of it. And immigrant to Canada. That part good. <laughs> no, I got it. Did you know that Sir Sanford's? <laughs> What's his name? It's so hard to say. <laughs> Did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming? <laughs> okay. Did you know that Sir Sanford Fleming, a Scottish immigrant, was responsible for creating standard time that helped coordinate the trains and the well, the wire things that go? Did, 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 I don't know. That's was, not. It, was responsible for creating standard time and the time zones. Was responsible for creating standard time and the time zones. Very cool, eh? A Canadian created what we all <laughs> use today. Oh. Holy c that was hard to get through. This is another Highway 17 virtual stop. Yep. I've got my picture. You got yours? I did. I remembered this time. And on this spot, and on this stop, we're joined by the KBK crew. And the Blue Quasar. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to have them along mm -hmm. with us on this one. And journeying along up, I think we have a few more stops before we're done. We got to go all the way to the border of Manitoba. <laughs> got to get back on that road. But first, enjoy the falls. Highway 17 virtual. We're here at the Dixie Lake rest stop, and you have to get your photo at the end of this Long big peninsula rock. rock. There it is. You can't get much further. You go any further on that I rock. I can't see now. <laughs> Turning around the other way, you got to get on this big long rock and get your photo. So here's our pictures. Can you come get yours? his face that way. There we go. Okay. So we're here at Husky the Muskie in Kenora, Ontario. What a big catch! <laughs> and can you believe it? We made a mistake. Yeah. We really goofed because how does one more stop at the Manitoba border add up to five more locations needed? Stay tuned for Oops! We goofed! the very last location for the Highway 17 virtual. Yep, right here on the border to Manitoba. We're on the line! Woohoo! 
So what were you saying about math? Well, it seems we can't count very well. Yeah. We messed up a bit. <laughs> we did a big boo-boo. When we logged the Highway 17 virtual, we made a bit of a mistake. We counted 20, but one of them was... But one of them was the posted coordinates of the beginning stage, which didn't count as one yep. of the locations. In order to complete that virtual, you needed to post a picture from the posted coordinates plus a minimum of 20, 20 of 25 other locations and if you look at our uh, if you look at my log and the number of pictures right here you can see that it has 20 pictures that means one from the posted coordinates and 19 from the other locations so how many how many other people did the same thing that Whoops. we did i don't know maybe they have i thought we did it right but Good thing that we came and did the other yes. five, actually six. We thought we only needed five more. And we just, couldn't figure out why yeah. there were six. And we were yeah. like, what's going on? Something just didn't add up. <laughs> so we finally figured it out. So yeah, we got it we all were done. Short yeah. of, uh, a location. We were short a location. So in just going to the locations we hadn't done before, we actually completed the virtual uh, cash. Legitimately. Legitimately, yeah. Now it's like, I'm like, I'm feeling so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, something was nagging at us that mm -hmm. we just couldn't, we could, why it are we going? right. Yeah, we thought we needed five more, but I, every time I looked at the map, there were six, and I'm like, but we did 20, and we did. 20, 19 of the other, plus one of the posted coordinates, so, so it's so we've nice. We've got it fixed up now. <laughs> finally get that one done, but boy, Read the description and think, 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 <laughs> as Pooh would say. We need the poo. Thank yeah. you for joining us for this completion of the Highway 17 virtual. And thanks to the COs for creating one of the best virtual caches we have ever seen and completed. Whew. Completed now. <laughs> we're done. Okay, we're here at an event, our event, right here on the border from Ontario. Ontario's over here. And Manitoba is over here, and you're about to watch the filming of... Can you see the difference? Yeah. <laughs> Ontario, <laughs> Manitoba. I don't know, it looks the same to me. You're about to see the filming of an episode for Geocacher Ken Ooh. and the Cache Advance Geocaching Vlogger Challenge of the Month. Hold tight. So you're facing this way, and then you start off going something about, you're on the Ontario-Manitoba border, and I'm, we're gonna do a geocache and then you and I come in and then we talk about the Cache Advance Geocaching Vlogger. I'm here at an Wait. event at the Manitoba, Ontario border. It is hosted by none other than... Hey, how you doing? Hey! Cache hello. Canada here. It's Cache hey, Canada. Ken. You've got the Cache Advance Geocaching Vlogger Geo, Geo Challenge of the Month. month. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> but no makeup artist? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, the making of an episode. Just like that's the quickie, but it's done. Yeah. We're really glad that you guys could join us here for the event for Cash Canada Meets on the Border. It's awesome, the border. thank you very much. This is ARV79. This is my wife, Rooney. I'm Andre. I'm Matthew, Mighty Strong Valley, and MSD. Geocacher Ken. Hi, I'm Danny Carrier, and I'm caching now for over 19 years. 394th regular event. Wow, wow. 394, holy doodle. And that's a wow for 19 years, and a wow for, look at this, one of our patrons in the flesh. Woo! So there you go, uh, ending with an event. With yeah, no this rain. has been a great day. We've seen yeah. so many people this, this trip. Yep, and this has been an awesome road trip again. I think our third for the year. We did the North did Shore of Lake Erie, we did BC, and now we've done Northwestern Ontario. Can we fit another one in? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we could somewhere. Yeah, we, we still got a few months left. Oh yeah, okay. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?